So before we cracked web access point and we also cracked WPA2 access point. And as you realized, we were able to get a handshake cracking WPA2 access point and run it against a word list. So it depends on the strength of your word list. Sometimes the passwords will have upper characters, special characters, numbers, etc. And it can take you years to crack an access point. So the WPS cracking is a guaranteed cracking and it only works against routers that are not locked. So what you're actually doing is cracking an eight digit pins and you can do it step by step. You can crack the first four digits and then you can crack the remaining three digits and the last digit is a checksum digit that is easily calculated. So as you can see, if you want to crack the first four digits, the combination is nine to the power four. So it's like around 10,000, which is possible. And the good thing is once you have this WPS pin, even if the victim changed their WPA2 password, running the river again against the same access point with WPS pin will give you the current password or the changed password in a matter of seconds. So let's go directly and invoke this river application. First of all, we can issue the command wash minus go just wash. So it'll tell you what to do. You, there are lots of options here that I can leave for you to go through, but you can use wash minus I and WLAN zero mod. So it's important here to Enable the monitoring mode on our network card. So as we did before, airmon dash ng. It's already enabled in my case. So if you want to enable it again, so write airmon dash ng start and then the WLAN zero one. So let's run wash minus i WLAN zero one. It will show you. It will show you actually all the neighboring access points. I'll stop it here with Control C. So it will show you all the neighboring access points. You will see the version of the WPS here and whether it's locked or not. Many of these access points do not have the WPS locked. Only mine. Since I've tried a couple of times, now it became locked and I'm not able to run Weaver against my access point. So actually it's a no-go once the WPS is locked. But I'll tell you how to, to perform this. So let's choose my access point. Suppose that the access point here is uh, the WPS is not locked. So you go Weaver and just press enter again lots of options here which are totally beneficial if you go through them one by one but i'll use the default command so river minus i to specify the interface and then the access point here mac address of my access point and run very verbose just to see what's going on so just invoke the command and if you want you can just leave it overnight at the end of the day river will display wps pin and will spit out the wpa2 password so i'll stop that here at this point so once this is done it might take you a couple of hours maybe a couple of days river will display the pin here and under that it will display the wpa2 password and you can try it to associate to the access point suppose that the victim changed this password all you have to do is to run river again with the same command here and just write p to specify the pin then enter the the pin the eight digit pin that you already got from the previous attack and river will just display the new password within a matter of seconds 